Hi, my name is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Today I want to talk to you about the 6.7 liter and how arch oil benefits this engine. 6.7 liter is absolute leading edge technology in, in terms of emissions controls. It's really quite amazing what Ford Motor Company has been able to achieve with this truck in terms of reducing emissions. Now, that comes at a cost. Uh, it's of course expensive for the parts, but it's, it's also expensive in terms of operating this vehicle because uh, regen cycles and whatnot use fuel. Anything that we can do to make this engine run more efficiently is going to help in terms of fuel economy. It's also going to have an incredible significant effect in terms of longevity. In terms of increasing engine longevity and reducing heat, the Archwell AR9100 friction modifier is a huge step towards making this engine run as long as possible. The number one thing that this additive will protect is your turbocharger. Now, some of the early models of the 6.4, 11, 12, and 13 had ceramic bearings in the turbo. Seemed like a good idea on paper, but it there's failures. And the failures occur because of a breakdown in lubrication. Now, when that happens, uh, the turbocharger bearing fails uh, and oil is just pumped right straight out the tailpipe. Lubrication requires, proper lubrication of a part requires maintaining a film between the bearing or the, the two metal pieces uh, rubbing against each other. Uh, the nanoborate uh, friction modifier is an extremely hard film. It's very, very difficult to break through it. And it will upgrade your good synthetic oil uh, to make sure that your turbocharger lasts as long as possible. The new improved turbochargers that they have out there uh, really have proven not to be that much better. So the ceramic bearings, uh, it's less of a problem about ceramic bearings and maintaining proper lubrication. Tragedy can strike if you have a turbocharger and you're not aware of your circumstances and it can cost you an engine. Uh, this particular truck behind us has suffered that. You may recognize this truck from a previous uh, video where we did a turbocharger failure on 6.7. When we replaced the turbocharger in this truck, we did an oil change and we realized at that time that a lot of the oil was gone out of the motor. Well, it seemed as though once we changed the oil and started the truck up that there was no problem, but unfortunately, now just a, a couple thousand miles later, this engine has serious problems. Well, when I spoke to man about the truck, he said he was riding at night and, and uh, he had radio up and whatnot. And he didn't really hear the engine having a problem until he stopped and uh, got fuel and realized there was something wrong. So this tragedy can be avoided by having the best lubrication that money can buy in the crankcase. I can't overstress the benefits of AR9100 in the 6.7, not just in terms of the turbocharger, but in terms of all the internal engine components. You want them to last as long as possible. AR6200, besides keeping your fuel system clean and running right, has other just as significant benefits for the uh, 6.7. One of the primary benefits of AR6200 is soot reduction. This soot reduction is, is caused by an increase in combustion efficiency, which is what this product does. By increasing the efficiency, all the emissions control system on this truck, and because of this, all the emissions control systems on this truck are positively affected, whether it's the DPF, the SCR, the EGR system. This is an EGR cooler that we pulled out of a 6.7 truck about a year ago. This is an ambulance truck, lots and lots of idle time uh, here in the city of Atlanta. And you can see it's just clogged up. The whole thing's just clogged with soot. Since these high idle time ambulance fleets out here have been using the AR6200 fuel, fuel combustion catalyst, EGR failures have gone to zero. Absolute zero. We took one apart that had about 300 hours idle time on it and the thing was as clean as it was the day it was new. It had a little bit of dust on it, but it wasn't huge like they were previously uh, before they started using the 6200. When you go up underneath a 6.7, there's a lot of stuff in this exhaust system. There is a the selective catalyst reduction, which is where the, uh, the diesel fluid is injected and brings down the nitrogen oxides. There's a catalytic converter. There's a DPF, just like a 6.4. There's a DPF on this truck. And this is very expensive stuff. Uh, this exhaust system, uh, if you break down all the pieces and, and check what Ford retail is on them, is approaching $9,000. $9,000. If you have a failure of one of these systems and you don't pay attention, you can destroy the engine. It's very important that we do everything that we can to increase fuel combustion efficiency in an effort to keep these parts working as well as they can for as long as possible. Frankly, I think that most of what's going to put these trucks in the junkyards is going to be emissions control systems 
not actual engine failures. Uh, the engines themselves are actually very good engines, but just like any engine, they can only stand up to a certain amount of heat. Then the materials start to break down and then there's serious problems. But preserving these expensive exhaust parts uh, is key to successful long-term relationship with your truck. You know, in order to be successful in keeping your 6.7 on the road as long as possible, the Arch Oil products AR6200, AR9100 AR are absolutely crucial. You know, this is a $70,000 replacement value truck. This man has 136,000 miles on this truck, and, and it, the motor's already gone because he, he wasn't paying attention during a turbo failure that shouldn't have been there. Had he had the 9100 in there, that turbo wouldn't have failed. The last thing you want is to have your truck to show up with somebody like me and have it sound like this, because this is an expensive sound. This is what an engine repair bill sounds like. That is not happening. Woo! That's a bad sound. I just, I just see, you know, it makes, the, it makes my credit card just burn in my, my pocket here to sound like that. Look, the only thing I want for you as a Power Stroke owner is for you to have a successful relationship with your truck. And these products are absolutely crucial in that. If you're serious about keeping your truck on the road, you need to have the Arch Oil products in your truck. It's just that simple. I'm not going to sit here and beat around the bush and say, oh, it could be this, it could be that. Let's just, you need to do what it's, what's necessary to protect your $70,000 investment. And the Arch Oil products are absolutely crucial in making this truck last as long as possible. So before you have to face a big engine bill like this man's going to have to, do what's necessary to take care of your truck and order ArchOilPowerStrokeHelp.com. Order today and get it put in your truck so you don't have to deal with something like this. Also, if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a Power Stroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. And remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for power stroke owners on the internet.